I do actually believe very strongly that Bogles is one of the decks. There are a few away. decks that are easy for people to get into the game with. Something really simple like <laughs> Petroglyphs, where all your creatures are vanilla, so there's less to keep up with. But I think that a deck with a lot of hexproof creatures is also pretty easy to start the game in because one of the worst feelings when you're a newer player is getting locked out of the game by your creatures being dealt with all the time. Lightning Bolt, yeah. Path to Exile, Swords of Plowshares, Fatal Push, da 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 But when you're playing a deck like this, uh, like Bogles, they're hexproof, so you have fewer of those feel-bad moments. Right. That's... I think that's why it's one of the better... Oh, yeah, let's just, let's see who goes first. Let's see who goes first. I think it's one of the better decks to, uh, to start somebody out on. Oh my god, that was loud. Yeah. I felt that, my friend. I <laughs> felt... Yeah, do. We're getting Ooh. ingested on Monday. Oh god. Alright, yeah, before I even... Let's find out who's, who has this one. Hey, okay. I'm okay. gonna switch our colors in just a second, but for right now, um, I think I have to keep, even though there's there's some risk to this hand. I'll admit. So if you take a a look at this, let's see. Let me sort this for the camera so they can see the shenanigans that are going on. So th this is awkward. This is the decision that I made with the deck that isn't necessarily right, but I'm I'm trying it out. So it leads into this, fine. Leads into this, but then I may have a bit of a dead end. So we'll we'll see. We'll see how that goes. All right. Now as for you, you're good. Yeah, I should be. All right. I'm gonna get to play uh, turn one. Ether Hub. Forget the energy because we're gonna spend it right away on a Gale Rider Sliver. Pass the turn. Okay. It Draw. flies. Well, what's the the Wizards of Oz? Uh, Fly, my pretties. <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank you. Get that. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know them. All right. All right. Once again, spending the energy right away for a sinew sliver. Mm -hmm. All right. Lord number one. We're going to swing for two. Sure. All right. Blip, blip. And now I will change the color. Pass turn. <laughs> Raise the brightness. Just a mite. All right. We're both green decks. So I can't. And maybe this is just on certain setups, but white on this is really hard to show up on camera because mm -hmm. the background color and the text, they're so similar in color, they don't really show up. So I do have to be wary of that. All right. Hmm. Now I've made my bed, about to lie in it. We'll see what, what comes off the top. Spirit Mantle, okay. Go ahead. Aha, okay. Well, that's interesting. Hub? Sure. All the hubs. Alright. Now, we have an energy counter. Mwahahaha, which goes down here. I'm going with that. Okay. I'd like to go to combat. Sure. Swing for four. Hmm. Yep. Alright. I can't block it because I don't have a flyer yet. Alas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The slippers read like a Billy Mays commercial, but wait, yeah. there's more! <laughs> there's more. <laughs> there's always. Always more. Now, Coronet would be a little silly right here, but that'd be my lot. Um well, pass turn. Oh, right as you take a sip. <laughs> Impeccable timing. I was like, he's making a decision. I have time. <laughs> T1 Pepsi Man. T1 Glycerol, not sponsored by Pepsi. All right. Flinging courage. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Not so bad. I'm I'll seeing four at four. All right. Blip, 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 blip. Blip, 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 blip. And... I'll pass right. there. Something doesn't change. I know how this race goes. It doesn't go well. Uh-oh. Ruh, ruh, raggy. Well... 
I actually don't even remember if your main deck has Path to Exile in it, to be honest. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, you're gonna burn that energy. Sure. Whatever, that's still gonna be there. Diffusion Sliver. Mm-hmm. Swing for four. Yep. Blip, 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 blip. Pass turn. Alright, so my my slivers have spell pierce. Not quite, but kind of. They have the Kapala Warden of Waves poppable spell pierce. Yeah. Oh. Martin. Nice. Right, I remember. Okay, I'm looking at five now. And reach. Now. Okay. So there's a technical term for this. Oh. Gross. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Five. But we're but we're swinging in. Right. Want to get it to make the Yu-Gi-Oh life counter. Do 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 do. Okay. Why not? Okay. Go ahead. Fair enough. Huh. So why'd you go with Ether Hub? You know, I wasn't expecting three of them. <laughs> it's because after the first, maybe second turn, um, you're fine with it being colorless mana in this deck because mm -hmm. of how much colorless there is. Right. There are other lands. Cavern of Souls, Unclaimed Territory, Sliver Hive, uh, Ancient Ziggurat, but Ether Hub and Tendo Ice Bridge are in here, and um, and in here, and in here, yeah. Except for, so Ancient Ziggurat has the issue of you can't use it for Ether Vial. Ether Hub and Tendo Ice Bridge have the issue of you use them for color once, mm -hmm. but they don't hurt you in the same way that Mana Confluence and Gemstone or. Uh, uh, City of Brass do, mm -hmm. and since Burn and other aggro decks are prominent enough, I'm trying to avoid those if I can. But there's my hand, since I'm conceding at this point. Oh, okay. So I, you know, there's another Gale Rider on turn three or Necrotic, and Necrotic would have been. It's not the end of the world by any means, but I can deal with your ability to block. Right. You know, I can do stuff. So yeah, well, let's move on to the next game. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Different lands, different lands. I, I'm experimenting. I'm trying out different lands to see what works, what doesn't. And uh, that is not the first time that Ether Hub and Nintendo Ice Bridge have gotten me. So I'll have to reconsider them, I think. But as long as I can come up with lands aside from those, it shouldn't be the end of the world. It shouldn't be. Ooh, that'll do it. <gasps> Alright. Oh, the, this is not a... This isn't competitive R.E.L.J. You don't have to shuffle for six minutes. Alright. Oh, gotcha. Or did you want to cut? I had to uh, cut. Okay. I mean, I, I knew you hadn't. I, was, I wasn't sure if that was, I'm not going to cut, or... Alright, it doesn't matter. We're good. I trust you. Welcome to casual R.E.L. Oh. Welcome to playtesting R.E.L where this is my hand. Well, I'm, I'm liking it more. It's not as bad. No, no, it's fine. We're keeping. We're going to keep. Hmm. And while, while we're keeping, let me once again show them what's going on and why this is not good. Okay, this looks familiar. This looks familiar. This looks familiar. You. And uh, and that is better than that in the long term. So that's what we're hoping for. All right. That said, watch suddenly like a thermocarst come out. No, that's not modern thing, <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm gonna keep. Yes. Okay. We're gonna go cavern. Sure. Gee, I wonder what. Uh, Humans. <laughs> striking sliver. Uh, first strike sliver. Pass turn. Have you ever seen the Alien movies or Alien and versus Predator and all that? Go ahead. Oh, yes, For what? Right yeah. <laughs> For whatever reason, um, they made 
this this particular type of card go from looking more like alien in the old, in the older ones to looking more like predator later on. Okay, so Tendo Ice Bridge, yeah, mm -hmm. might as, might want to keep track of that counter. That's a thing. Uh, <laughs> we're going to main phase the sinew, of course. Mm -hmm. Hit for two. Sure. And uh, flip you down to eighteen. Okay. Fetch. Yeah. Oh, oops. hello. You were at, you're at seventeen. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. I guess it's. Wait a minute. I don't know why it does that. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm trying to figure out if it's certain input or what what it might be, or if it's a glitch. I, I guess there's always that. Yeah. Ta da! Boink. Okay. All right. Uh, draw. Here we go. Um. Crack. Here we go. Turn to Spirit Dancer. Yep. All right. Sixteen pass turn. I mean, it's modern, so yeah. It's like no, I need to slaughter pet one of your guys. Oh my god! As a matter of fact, let's slaughter pet both of them. Well, I may want to build a pretty big board quickly, so uh, let's see. I'm gonna go. Jim Heights Sliver. Mm-hmm. Predatory Sliver. Okay. And pass. All right. Let the shenanigans begin. I'm letting him untap with the spirit. Well, not much of a choice I have, I'm afraid. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna scoot that a little further away. That's all. Take right. one. Chris Spoon. Oh. Trigger, trigger. Okay. He's about to start drawing a lot of cards, okay. and that's uh, <laughs> that's pretty good <laughs> in this. I don't, don't really um, I'm just watching you. Yeah. Pass. Long story short, I might be in trouble. There, there is some chance. All right. Well. I'm gonna go one two. And you, Harmonic Sliver, mm -hmm. uh, blow up the Griff Spoon. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's the yep. whenever a sliver enters. That's fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, this is a Disenchant Sliver, I suppose. Right. I know there is it Aura Shards is the commander card that like every green-white player plays uh, that does that. Yeah. Um... Firewake Sliver, mm -hmm. Haste, and the whole plus two, plus two thing. I'm going to... I'd like to go to combat. Sure. Now, it's not plus two, plus two yet. I have to actually you know, spend some mana and sack a dude for that. So right now, okay. it's just, you know, just being a thing. So yeah. anyway, this is a one-one. That's a one-one. Two lords, so I'm swinging for six. And mm. obviously no legal targets for the second trigger. Right. Of course, yeah. <sighs> Two cards in hand? Two cards, yes. I'll take it. Alright. Hit you down to nine. Hello. Something like that. Okay. Pass turn. One ten. Draw. No, it's not the least likely thing in the world that he could just suddenly do me in in one turn. Especially with that. <laughs> it's it's possible. Crispin. That's a start. Trigger. Okay. All right. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Not that right? Yeah, we're we're getting there. We're working our way to it. Spider Umber. Trigger. Ooh, okay. Okay. The divide and conquer strategy. Hey, two. Uh oh. Daybreak. Triggers. Alright, coronet's good. 
Oh, go ahead. Just go on. Well, um, we'll get there. Not, we're not yeah. there yet. All right. So. With whom, my friend? Go to combat. Well, actually, I know the answer. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do some, some mass here. Um, on zone, it's an O2. Two enchantment, two auras, so we're looking at a four six. A six. Ha ha. Yeah. Wait a minute. No, no, no. Okay. Wait, that's a seven ten, right? No, okay, okay. It's a four six. This is plus three plus three. Yeah. Should so be eight, seven. Ten. Yeah, er. seven nine, and then an eight nine. Okay. I, I don't. I, I threw myself off thinking that there might have been a six nine somewhere in the step. A six. Yeah. I got but, you. Uh, Nope, that is not in, indeed how that goes. Yep. Well, alas, I have to take it. Yeah. I'll do it again. Alright, wait, no, that's eight. Yep. Alright. And that's the turn? Yes, sir. Alright, let's see. What do we have? What's going to do it? Wait, I got this card. Oh, okay, well, One, two, three, four, yeah. five, well, six, I did seven, see it, eight, so. Nine. We gotta discard a couple things. Two lands. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that seems right. That's a resource he doesn't need this late in the game. Alright, so. Sinew Sliver, trigger from the Harmonic Sliver on the Griff Spoon. Yep. Blow up the Coronet as well. Yep. Uh. It looks around and realizes it's it's a little lonely, and um, all right, there are lords over here. What can I do to mess this up? <laughs> <laughs> what can I possibly do here to mess this up? I'm sure there is something, <laughs> something somewhere. But it, it looks pretty sure, so we're just... Okay, yeah, you're tapped out, so there's no, like, sideboard ethereal haze or fog shenanigans. On its own, I'm not done yet. On its own, this is 12, because they're lording mm -hmm. themselves. And this is 16, so already we're lethal, but two blockers. And then two more. There's no source of lifelink, so this should do it. So yeah, this is how we're doing it. Mm -hmm. Leave Harmonic behind for the ludicrously obvious trick on board. <laughs> but that doesn't actually matter. So right. we're, we're actually good. Yeah, that's no. Yeah, yeah. All right, game three. But this time he gets to be on the play, so... <laughs> yeah! Yeah. Oh, that's not the way we want to end the story. I like the, uh... What is going on in this art? Is she trying to control the dragon? Is she shooting lightning at the dragon? You know, I don't know. I don't know. All right. In any case... I feel like since his eyes are the same color as the magic coming off the person, yeah, that they're probably more likely trying to control it. I would think so. Usually, when that's the case, it looks more. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, it usually seems to me like it'd be more diffuse. It wouldn't look like a bolt. But then again, it's the mind, you know, electricity and all. Yep. All right. So what do you say? Okay. All right. Oh no, not this again. Not this again. Oh, not this again. <laughs> oh, I believe you have to walk. Oh god. Uh, uh, I can only why? assume it's, it's all of the ether hubs. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm on the draw and I'm a glutton for punishment, so we're gonna do it again. Let's go. <laughs> Temple Garden Blade Cover Scout. Check. Alright. Do it again. Oh. Insult meet injury? No. <laughs> Alright. Tendo Ice Bridge. Forget the counter. We have Flying Sliver. Cool. And go. Okay. Jetpack Sliver. Draw. Every you get a jetpack and you get a jetpack. We're gonna play a planes. Alright. Theory Alarm? Seems good. Theory Alarm? Ooh. Five. Five. Yeah, that's 
That did not take long. Go ahead. All right. Obvious liver is obvious. Gee, I wonder what I top decked. It doesn't. I telegraphed that really strong. <laughs> that's not a telegraph. That's you know one of those arrows with a message that you right. should, you know. <laughs> those uh, Looney Tune guns with the you pull the trigger and the bang <laughs> flag comes out. Uh, hmm. I think it's that much of a choice. Predatory swing for two? Sure. All right. Pass nice turn. Time. Insert coronet. Oh no, we're gonna do something way better than that. Oh no. Oh no! I'm flinching courage. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Three. Well, I'm seeing eight. That's nine altogether. Yep. And hiya. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Meanwhile, over in Bogle's land. <laughs> He's at 25, I'm at 6. I don't think there's a card that Pass. saves me from this. It has lifelink, it has trample. Yeah. It has get really huge every time I cast an aura. Uh, Last time I checked, slivers doesn't run back to nature. No, they don't, but we, we do have some interesting little tech from the combo plan that's actually going to do something here. Okay. All right, Tendo Ice Bridge. Sure. We have a counter. We don't have a counter anymore. Um. Well, it doesn't really matter what the order is. Intruder Alarm. <laughs> thou shalt not untap thy creature unless thou also hast another creature in thy hand. <laughs> so. No, of course, for this deck, that doesn't matter. I, spoiler alert, I have other creatures in my hand, so I'm going to go in for four here. Okay. And then hope... Now, thankfully... I actually... Uh, yeah, I think this is enters the battlefield, so a Dryad Arbor would, would untap it. It's not when you cast a creature, right? Right. I, yeah, I don't think it's been think it's just, updated to Yeah, that. I'd have to look at the Oracle text, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure, sure a Dryad Arbor would do the job. Yep. Now, that said, if you have one, just show me. <laughs> All right, and pass turn. All right. Okay. Okay. Recycling. No! <laughs> I tried. I tried so hard. It came so far. Oh! 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 They untap. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it matters. Nine. I think I'm still done. Oh no! 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 Wait a minute. I'll, I can go to one here. Yeah. So if I double block, take four. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I can go to one here. And meanwhile, he goes to 30. <laughs> 30 to 1. Oh, God. Eh. I don't like those odds. Yep. <laughs> you, you really needed that go driver so you could block that there. So yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Now, there is an unfortunate little, little issue with this. Because I have to play something, because you're going to get me next turn. But if I play anything, you untap. Yep. So, if I still had the combo plan in the deck, this would be theoretically possible. But I don't, so I can't. So, we're just going to, uh, yeah. Sliver Hive. Sure. Naming Sliver, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll just do the most mana efficient thing. And Sentinel Diffusion Pets, you got it. You got me. Okay. Ooh, the top deck into Solana. That was, that was cool. Oh, we're so, going to suit it up next turn, too. Very nice. Let me show you something real quick. I, I have a... So, this is... I don't have a, a name for it just yet. It's Five Color Slivers, but more specifically, it is... It's a combo deck. Dormant Sliver is a four of, and paired with Intruder Alarm and Gem Hide and Firewake Sliver, which you don't need all of them. So this is the one that they gain Defender, okay. but also you draw a card. Yeah. So Intruder Alarm, you're going to untap them. Yeah. With Gem Hide, you can tap, tap them for mana, mana, you know... Yeah. Draw, you know, play one, draw a card, and da 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 da. Yeah. With Fire Wake, you can use the ones that come in on that turn. So that that's a combo plan. Eventually, you get to the point where you have enough of a board. Fire Wake, sack the dormants, swing for some giant hit. Hit oh, for yeah. 100. So that's that's the combo plan. In, intruder Alarm, not necessary, but great. Um, then the control plan involves having. This bad boy, which is a four of, I left one in, one in. And by the way, I took out 
one intruder on let the other in, so that was lucky. <laughs> uh, this doesn't do much against all your creatures have hexproof, but the idea is that if I can get to a late enough state in the game, especially again with Jim Hyder mana weft right. and uh, Firewake, I can just sort of play an opposition game. Yeah. Um, I know you run Path to Exile, and sure, yeah, of course they come in. Um, but there's so many things to deal with that maybe telekinetic makes the makes it out of like you've used the paths by then, right? Um, and yeah, it just sort of controls the board. But this is not the matchup for you. Left one in just in case. Yeah. Um, Dormant does not nearly enough, I think, in this match. Um, I mean, that's really good against a stupidly big spirit dancer. Yeah, there it is good against that one, just the one, and we keep one in partially because of that. As for cards I cited in, I mean, it's it's actually, you saw the harmonics, that's a given. Yeah. Let's see. Didn't see you the second time around, though, alas. Uh, and then four homing sliver, also known, the one that cycles for slivers. Yeah. So essentially, I cited in eight harmonic slivers. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, I, this is has such utility in so many matches. I don't have it in the main board. I've strongly considered having it in the main board, but because mm -hmm. I don't have homing sliver in the main board, the bullet ones, yeah. I don't, but I do have necrotic sliver, so it kind of can serve the same purpose. Yeah. You know, there we go. Uh, vindicate sliver, there we go. Vindicate sliver. I, I like calling the slivers by the names of the cards that they emulate. Yeah. So, uh... So do you think slivers will come back? I know that yes. they said that they probably won't in M19. No, I mean, they will come back, It's but there's so much space that has to be dedicated to them in a set yeah. that, you know, you, you kind of have to, with the exception of M15, but granted, they were in M14, so you had enough overlap, it was okay. Yeah. But yeah, they, they're coming back. Mark Ro Rosewater's been clear. He, he likes them, we like them, it's just finding the space is the trick. You know. Yeah. Would have liked to see them in Dominaria, but there'd be less room for other cool stuff. 30 to 1. 30 to 1. But this deck doesn't play fetch land, so I can't fetch myself to zero to concede. <laughs> that's, that's how you concede.